Part of North Africa, Tunisia's coastline runs more than 1,300 kilometers along the Mediterranean Sea. Here, the Kirkana archipelago sits barely an hour ferry ride from the mainland in the Gulf of Gabis. The shallow waters surrounding the islands are home to vast beds of seagrass. Fishermen, relying on nature's resources as well as their own knowledge of tides and currents, have developed an intricate system for catching fish. Sharfia is a traditional way of fishing, and it's the best way because it doesn't harm the sea. Although Sharfia is a sustainable way of harvesting marine life, Hassan's baskets aren't as full as they used to be. Marine pollution is a key factor in the fisheries decline, but the most destructive factor has been the increase in the number of motorized fishing boats using bottom trawling. And making matters worse, an already depleted sea is getting warmer. Hamadi Trabelsi says, not only have the waters gotten warmer in the last 30 years, but the sea level is also rising with disastrous results. In Kirkenna, you will see palm trees and other trees dying because of seawater intrusion. Island agriculture is also dying. The weather has been getting hotter, rainfall less predictable. The land, like the sea, is losing its capacity to provide. Since the 1990s, the government of Tunisia has increased investments in new wastewater treatment plants to control urban and industrial waste discharges into the open sea. We are working to put into place a management plan to protect marine and coastal areas. Specifically, there is one in the Qarqana. One project that supports this experiment was created by fishermen. They are making cement blocks. Once placed in the sea, the blocks become obstacles to bottom trawling. Designed with small holes, they also provide a home for young marine life. Erratic weather, declining fisheries, degraded habitats, marine erosion, it all adds up to a perfect storm of consequences for the fishermen of Kakena. But Hassan is hopeful that the efforts against pollution and overfishing will restore the marine habitats and bring back the fish.